my first day in Washington, D.C. We're about to get on the bus. female Supreme Court Justices, so again, Sandra Day O'Connor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Alina Kagan, and uh, Sotomayor. So these women really are true outliers in their fields. I mean, Sandra Day O'Connor being the first um, female Supreme Court Justice um, since retired, but Ruth Bader Ginsburg is still on the court. Um, just such a cool portrait of these women who accomplished so much in their time. So we've been walking through the National Portrait Gallery and um, it's just been so cool to see um, how Kwanaki was talking about the importance of expression in our lives and um, in his form of his literature, but it's so interesting to see just like, the amount of value that we place on expression, yet somehow also like, discouraging it, like we try to aim towards academic pursuits and often forget that surrounded by beautiful artwork, so just an interesting thing to see, a huge collection of such beautiful art and just a celebration of creativity. The first night we went to Ella's Kitchen and had a wonderful cheese pizza. We started off day two with a trip to the Library of Congress. So we just got out of the Union Station. Um, it was so beautiful. Did some shopping, got some great food. Um, now we are headed to Supreme Court, which is probably gonna be my favorite part of the trip. I just love seeing how justice is like executed and um, I've taken a few classes on it this semester. And I'm just so excited, so here we go. Right here we are at the Supreme Court. We're number um, one. So We're number Every woman lawyer who actually earns her living in the practice of law is an exceptional woman. To survive the hard grind of study and the worst grind of private practice or demands of public office requires good health, good brains, and most important, good luck. The second night, after quite a bit of walking, we stopped for burgers. All right, so day three, uh, we are about to get on the metro to head to the Holocaust Museum, and then we'll have time to go to all the other museums as well. So I am super excited. Um, here we go. So just finished up all of our activities for the day. We just um, had lunch at Union Station again um, and did the Holocaust mor uh, Museum this morning, which was amazing. Uh, super informative, very, um, I loved how the architecture represented the, um, the subject matter. Like it was interesting to see the, the contrast between light and dark and just like suddenly walking between them was so interesting. Just such a cool, immersive experience. So. Um, I'm so grateful that we got to experience this trip and we are going to head back to the hotel now and get on the bus, so.